Good morning, my name is Jamir, and I'm going to lead us in prayer. Lord, I thank you for everything you have done for us. I thank you for everything, and I hope that you continue to do everything that you have done and what you think is right. But I have a few things that I want to ask for you. I ask that you put hands over and protect people. I ask that you keep providing for people and put your angels over people and don't let them go. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. Good morning and welcome to Mountaineers Live. Well, I'm sad. You know what I'm sad? Because this is our last week of Ready for Battle. All right, so do you remember all of our call to actions? Remember, week one, we know that we are champions. Why? Because we have God, of course. Week two, our call to action is we will stand with God, no matter how hard it may be. Because standing with God, remember, is not easy, all right? Now, week three, just last week, our call to action was I will wear God's armor. And you all saw me get ready for winter, and then you all saw me talk about the armor of God also. Remember, God's armor protects us from being afraid of dark forces and it helps us to defend good for the Lord's sake. Well, today we are going to discuss two pieces of armor, but we're really going to focus on one piece. All right. So our brain, point to your head. Some people say it's the most important part of our body. Well, what does it do? It helps us to understand things. It also helps do a whole lot of other stuff. Boy, we're not getting into that today, all right? So we can have a heart, lung, liver, and kidney transplants. Don't know about a brain transplant. Not 100% sure about it, didn't research it, all right? But what I do know is that if our brain stops functioning, we can't understand anything. Now listen up. Our salvation is something we need to understand. And guess what? It's not difficult. The Apostle Paul put salvation with the head in the helmet of salvation because he knew we needed to understand what we believe, that Jesus died for our sins. And guess what? He didn't stay dead. He got up on the third day. And if we confess that we believe that and we accept him, guess what? we can be saved, all right? Moving on in life. So the helmet of salvation keeps us thinking right. You heard me, it keeps us thinking right. You can think wrong. If you're thinking about beating somebody up, if you're thinking about following somebody in the store and taking something that doesn't belong to you, if you're thinking about smacking your lips when your mother tells you to do something or slamming the door behind her, that is some wrong thinking. And remember, the helmet of salvation helps us to think right. So think about how many times your parents or teachers have said, look before you leap, or look both ways before you cross the street, or think before you act. We have to think before we act. So understanding our salvation helps us to think about if what we do, if what we say, or if what we think will please Christ, or if it'll make him sad. If it will make him sad, we need to do something different. Moving on to our focal point or focal piece of armor for today, the on guard, the sword of the spirit. Now I have this sword, but Remember, the sword of the spirit is the Bible. So I also have my Bible. Listen up. Ephesians 6, 17 says, put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Why do you think the apostle Paul calls the word of God a sword? or compares it to a sword. You wanna know why? 
It stops people from attacking. Just think if you walked around all day like this. I don't think anybody is coming near you or anybody is coming to bother you. Well, guess what? It's the same way with knowing this in our head and in our heart. When people try to tell us that Jesus is not real, he was not a good man, or he is just a man, we may feel the deep need to respond to that by telling them that we believe in Jesus. Sometimes people will be convinced, but sometimes they won't be convinced. Then we can proceed to quote the following. Matthew 7, 7, it says, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened to you. Or James 1, 5, if you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. When we know our sword, it can bring people to Christ. It gives us peace, it encourages us, and it gives us wisdom. Just as this natural sword defends against attackers, our spiritual sword defends against the lies of others and the enemy. So listen up. Our, our last call to action is I will know my sword. Now, the question is, we know our sword by reading it consistently and asking for understanding as we read it. Listen up. We are ready for battle because we know we are champions who stand for God, wearing our armor daily and knowing our sword. When people say mean things to us, we will remind ourselves that we are champions. When we want to do wrong, we will remind ourselves that we stand for God and do things that please Him. When we feel discouraged, we will remind ourselves that our shield of faith tells us in Isaiah 40, 31, that if we trust in the Lord, He will renew our strength. We will mount up on wings like eagles. We will run and not get tired. We will walk and we won't fall out, it says faint. When people try to tell us Jesus is not real, we will remind ourselves that our sword says in John 3.16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish and have eternal life. So repeat after me, I am a champion. I stand with God. I will wear God's armor. I will know my sword. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for making us champions. Thank you for modeling for us how to stand for you. Thank you for our armor that we will put on daily. Thank you for your word that serves as our sword to stand against attackers. May we read it daily so we know it and are able to use it effectively in the battle against good and evil. Also, let us remember that you will carry us through our day if we give our feet to you each morning. Thank you also for our precious salvation and our ability to understand it. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you remember that you are ready for battle. Love you much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Good morning, Mountaineers. My name is Taylor, and I will be teaching you I am a champion. I am a champion. I am a champion. I am a champion. Bye-bye. Good morning, my is I my name is Korean. I am going to teach them. I'm going to teach you how to how to how to do the move. I will stand with God. I will
will stand with God. I 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 will stand with God. Thank you. Bye bye. Good morning, Mountaineers. How you doing today? I hope it's amazing. But my name is Jamir, and I will show you a move to help you remember I will know how to use my sword. I will say it three times, so repeat it at home so you can learn it too. I will know my sword. 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 Goodbye, Mountaineers. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hi, how you doing? My name's Drake. Nice to meet you. Um, I got my friends on stage, you know. We're gonna sing a little jingle for you. You know, y'all know how y'all know y'all know the song. He got the whole world in his head. Yeah, yeah. You know that's all fine and dandy and whatnot. But we gonna sing with some different lyrics. Okay, cool. Y'all ready? Yes. yes. Alrighty. One, two, three. Put on the whole armor. The armor of God. Put on the whole armor. The armor of God, put on the whole armor. The armor of God, so that you can be strong. Wrap the belt of truth around your waist. Put the breastplate of righteous firmly in place. Have your feet fitted with the gospel of peace, so that you can be strong. Put on the whole armor. The armor of God, put on the whole armor. The armor of God, put on the whole armor. The armor of God, so that you can be strong. Hold your shield of faith high in the air. Put on the helmet of salvation. On your hands, swing your sword of the Spirit everywhere, and then you will be strong. Put on the whole armor, the armor of God, put on the whole armor. The armor of God, put on the whole armor. The armor of God, so that you can be strong. 